Picks and Parlay family, it's me, Detroit Lenny, here to talk some NFL. NFL. That's right, folks. We're going to talk the, what are we talking? NFC East again. We're going to break down all these divisions one by one, and I'm going to bring different handicappers in here to get their different perspectives on these. And you're going to see these videos throughout the throughout the summer as we get a first look at some of these videos. So let's bring in David Delano first to get this party started. Before we do that, don't forget like, share, subscribe. If you haven't already, use promo code LENNY20. Saves you 20% off this man's all his premium plays, best bets, and especially with NFL and college football right around the corner. We're filming this in mid-July. Let's talk about the NFC East. These odds here are they're going to vary depending on your book, where you're at in the country, and this and that. I got this from Bet Online right here, right now, mid-July. These are for the division winners. So the Eagles are minus 110, Commanders and the Giants plus 1,000 if you think they're going to win the division. So let's get David's thoughts on a couple different looks, right? Like first looks at this division here. David, first, first of all, appreciate you joining me because uh, I know that I threw this actually at left field, like corner, like curveball for sure. Um, I'm going to let you talk about this division, and then let's see what you got here. Take it away. Yeah, so I'm um, looking at this um, division, first of all, to start off the obvious, which I agree with with the odds makers, is that this is basically a two-team race. Uh, the odds for the Eagles and Cowboys to finish in the top two are overwhelming. The odds for the Giants and the Commanders to finish in the bottom two are also overwhelming. So it's basically – the consensus is that the Eagles and Cowboys are going to be the top two teams in the division, which I agree with. I actually like my prediction. I like the Eagles to win the division, but the best bet that I think is to go with the Eagles over 10 and a half wins. I went through the schedule. Uh, I actually can see the Eagles winning 13 games. So I'm going to go with the Eagles over 10 and a half wins. And the reason for that though, is looked at minus uh, minus 110 even some minus 120s for them to win the division. I think it's a little bit um, better to just go with the minus 130 for them to win over 10 and a half games. The uh, Cowboys have won 12 games the last three seasons, so I think a little safer bet. We're just going to go with the Eagles over 10 and a half wins. And then on the other side, I think that the um, New York Giants are definitely the worst team in this division. The odds have them about the same as the Commanders. With Dan Quinn coming over and with Jaden Daniels at quarterback, I think that there's a little bit more unknown with the commanders, but I think that they may have a higher ceiling. I went through the Giants' schedule. I see them losing the first eight games. I think that they may find a way to steal one of those, but if you look at that schedule on paper, this team could start 0-8. Um, I think that getting to seven wins is a stretch. Love the Giants under six and a half wins uh, for the uh to come in the bottom of the division. And then also America's team, everybody wants to hear about the uh, Dallas Cowboys. I think that they're going to finish um, second in the division. You could get plus 135 odds on that, but even a safer bet is over nine and a half wins. Do your shopping. These odds are bet MGM. I have seen some books where you might get a little bit of a better price, but this is probably going to change. I think by the time the season starts, this is going to be more at a over 10 and a half. But jump on it right now if you can. Over nine and a half wins. Like I stated, the Cowboys have won 12 games the last three seasons. You know, in the playoffs, we don't know what's going to happen. But for this team to win 10 games, I think the reason that these win totals are a little low is because they're playing the AFC North this season. But still, I, I have Dallas winning at least 11 games um, just from my projections. I have them going 11 and six. So Dallas Cowboys over nine and a half wins. Go ahead and hammer that one. I like that. I like that. Now I don't mean to interrupt, but you, you know you keep saying America's team, and and I don't. I don't. We're not talking about the NFC North. We're talking about the NFC East. But I'm just kidding. Um, I like this, and I wanted to jump in and explain this real quick before you break this down. Exact outcome plus three fifty. We see a lot of these minus one sixties, minus one thirty, minus one ten egos to win the division, and like you said, two team race stuff like that. But if you really think this is like this, I'm mean, not really think, but if you think this is how this division plays out, plus 350 are as great odds. And I like the angle that you're looking at that with. Can you maybe go into a little bit like how'd you come to first of all, it's really that top two race, but this this bet really is dependent on the commanders and the giants, in my opinion, who finishes yeah. in third 
and like where they land as far as that goes. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? Yeah. So the reason with this um, exact outcome, obviously, you always want to bet responsibly and the fewer bets that you can pick and the more you can win makes it better. So, you know, you could take the Eagles, like I said, to win the division at minus 110 or the Cowboys to finish second at plus 135. But if you're going to do that, you might as well take a shot at the plus 350 here because I really I see the commanders really falling in at third. I do think that the Giants are going to be the worst team in this division. Okay. Um, you know, Daniel Jones, I, I and I think that also that there's been so much of that hard knocks offseason, which we haven't right. seen before about them basically kind of telling, uh, you know, Saquon Barkley, you know, we, we appreciate you, but go, you know, go thanks, see. No, go thanks. See you better, right? Right. Yeah. Good luck to you. <laughs> Pretty much in a nutshell. And you're right. If you like the Eagles and you like Dallas at those prices. These are small unit bets, people. We bet responsibly. These are these are future bets. Take the whole. You don't pay out on this to the end of the year. So you remember that you got to let that money stretch out. Uh, I like this exact outcome plus three fifty. Don't forget, guys. Like, share, subscribe. Promo code L E N N Y twenty saves you twenty percent off your premium plays and picks and parlays dot net. When you're looking for all David's best bets and premium plays, get over there. Football season's around the corner. College football season's literally around the corner we appreciate you david as always good luck everybody unless you're against us take care thanks for watching